in this video I'm going to talk about mathematical in induction and math this is one of the uh, very important and very useful way of proving results and uh, this is called principle of mathematical indu induction <coughs> excuse me so let us start with the very uh, the question the question is prove that 2 times 7 to the power n plus 3 times phi to the power n minus phi is divisible by 24 for all n belongs to n now this n means natural numbers that means if you put any natural number yes yeah, and uh, that number that you will get is divisible by uh, 24 so I'll show you let us do okay I've done the working I'll go step by step so this is called a statement uh, principle of mathematics this is a statement we are making let p of n be 2 times 7 to the power n plus 3 times 5 to the power n minus 5 the same thing we are making a statement it's divisible by 24 we are accepting it okay so that's a statement so you can't sit there and say oh, we accept the statement we have to prove it mathematically by induction so what do we mean by that? So we'll take first with p of one. Means we'll put n is a n is the first natural number. So we'll say okay, what happens when n is one? So that is two times seven to the power one plus three times five to the power one minus five. So this is pretty simple. Two times seven plus three times five minus five, which is fourteen plus fifteen minus five, which is twenty nine minus five, which is twenty four. So p of one is 24 and 24 is divisible by 24 so the p of 1 is true so what do we say okay if p of 1 is true okay now we have to do it algebraically we can go p of 2 and see what happens but now we have to use algebra so we're going to say okay that's true so now we have to say make a statement again if let p of n be true we are making an assumption yeah that p of n is true and ultimately we're going to prove p of m plus 1 is also true okay that's the main part okay so what happens so p, p of m is true is uh, stated like this that p of m is 2 times 7 to the power m the only difference is m has been replaced n has been replaced by m is divisible by we're making that statement okay we're not proving anything so what happens now now we're doing a bit of algebra here yeah? so if m is if m is any natural number and we, if if you're making this statement it's divisible by 2 that means this has to be a multiple of 24 okay, that means if m changes if m is 1 we just saw uh, this will be 24 if m is 2 that will be some other number so uh, let me show let me take get calculator out so what are we saying so let me take a one more number so it is 2 times let me take m as 2 7 to the power or 7 squared plus 3 times 5 squared minus 5 what is that number 168 and this is a multiple of 24 how do I know that I divide by 24 I get 7 so I can say 24 times 7 is 168 so we are making generalizing it and we're saying okay if this is divisible by 24 this will be a multiple of 24 that is 24 X and we're saying that X belongs to n n is a natural number natural number means any number from 1 to infinity okay if that is true I'm making this the subject if I make this a subject what will happen 2 times so 3 times 5 to the power m becomes 24 X plus 5 plus 2 times minus 2 times so I'm taking this and this to the other side okay. or you are taking away this and adding phi to both sides whichever way you understand okay, so this is pretty simple so now what will happen 
Okay, now this is where the real math starts. Till here, we have made just simple manipulations. So now we are going to p of m plus one. Okay, if our statement p of m is true, p of m plus one should also be true. So now, if p of m m plus one would change to two times seven to the power m plus one plus three times five to the m plus one minus five. So what will happen now? So this is same as this, no change, and this has become this has been written. I hope you understand. Five to the power m plus one is same as five to the power m times five to the power one. So I change this. So I've written that this like three times five to the power m times five to the power one minus five. Okay. Okay. Now we have to look. We have already made a statement. Three times five to the power m is this. So in place of this, I can write this, which is 24x plus five minus two times seven to the power m. Okay, so it's very interesting argument is developing. So what will happen now? So that's this becomes two times seven to the power m plus one plus now expanded the bracket. 24x times five is 120x. Five times five is 25. And this minus two times seven to the power m times five is minus ten times minus five. Nothing fancy there. So what happens next? Now, a simple rearrange this. This, this I wrote first, then this, uh, then this, and this, and this becomes twenty-five minus five becomes twenty. Nothing great there. Okay, now what's happening here? Again, the same thing. This can be written as this. Okay, this and this are the same. I hope you can see that. This is the same. Now, this is a very crucial step. Now, 24, sorry, 20, I have written as 24 minus 4. Okay, now this is very crucial. Now, the reason is I want to write as a multiple of 24. Okay, that's why 24, 20 I have written as 24 minus 4. Okay, so now what will happen? I have factored out the 7 to the power m. So you have 2 times 7, which is 14 minus 10. And this minus 4 I have brought here. And uh, this is done. And this is 120x plus 24. Okay, what will happen next? Okay, you can pause and try to do the next step yourself. So this is 7 to the power m times this becomes 4. This is a minus 4. And uh, this is uh, 24 times. If you factor out a 24 here, so 24 times 5 is 120 plus 1. Okay, now the next step is again very crucial. This is again factoring out a 4. If you factor out a 4 here, 4 to the power m minus 1 plus the same thing, no change here. Now the next step is very important. If 7 to the 7 to the power m plus 1, sorry, minus 1 is will always be a multiple of 6. I will show you an example. Okay. On a calculator, suppose let us take say 7 to the power 2 minus 1. 48 is a multiple of 24. Uh, 24 times 2 is 40, you can see that. 7 to the power 3 minus 1. So if you divide that by 24, it should be a tidy number, a neat number. Uh, 7 to the power 3 minus 1. What did I do there? Hmm. So let us... Did I make a mistake? Okay, menu. 1. 7 to the power 3 minus 1 is divided by 6, sorry, not 24, divided by 6, yeah, 57, okay, so 57, okay, let me do, 7 to the power 4 minus 1, it's a multiple of 6, that's very pre pretty easy, divided by 6, okay, let me do 7 to the power 5 minus 1, 
this will be a multiple of 6, let me divide by 6. So, whenever you take away 1 from this, this will be a multiple of 6, that's what I am stating here. So, 7 to the power m minus 1 is a multiple of 6 for any value, for m, for any, for all m which belongs to n. So, as a multiple of 6, I can write that as 6y. This becomes, if it's a multiple of 6, I can write that as 6y. So, that is 4 times 6y plus 24 times. So, this is nothing but 24y plus 24 times. So, let me remove the veil. So, it's all plain now. So, now I can factor out a 24 and this 24 times any number okay, becomes a multiple of, this, this is nothing but a multiple of 24, multiple of 24. And where, where, did, where did we start? We started with P of M plus 1. So, we have proved that P of M plus 1 is also divisible by 24. So, we are, we are assuming that P of M is true and we are proving that P of M plus 1 is also true. And therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, P of N is true for all N belongs to N. See you in the next video.